What is up, Got Your Gang family? And look, y'all, if you click this video, then that means you took the first step and you are interested in getting into the salt water gang, baby. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna teach you guys how to get into salt water the easy way, not the hard way, the cheapest way if you want it to be and show you that it is not as hard as people make it out to be or as you think it is. I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna show you guys everything I got and I'm about to walk you through it step by step. We're even gonna go buy fishes together, corals together. We are gonna do all that. I'm gonna show you guys the way, okay? I'm gonna teach you guys this the right way. But first, we got a lot of stuff to do because I'm setting up a complete tank and I gotta move a tank in order to do it. So let me show you what we got going on. All right, y'all, so this is what we got going on. So I'm gonna tell you the prices of everything you can get so you can already get the idea. We got a $26 light off Amazon. Everything I got right here is gonna be in the link down below. Click the link if you want an exact replica of the tank. Click that link and get everything I got. We got the $26 light. I'll show you the brand. The brand's down below, I don't remember the brand. We got the Fiji Pink Sand. This was $30 for this sand. It's a live bacteria, so this is gonna help us instantly add fishes to the tank when we're ready. But first, this tank's gotta get clean. This is a 30 gallon tank. Now this method I'm showing you guys can be done with any tank. You can do this in a 30 gallon, 20 gallon, 40 gallon. Just make sure that your mechanical equipment can handle the size tank you got. We got this rock right here. This came off of Amazon, it's a 10 pound rock, big bag of rocks, and this was $36. We got this, this is, an, this is absolutely not necessary. We only needed this much rock. I'm doing extra because I just wanted to be extra, but I got some more rock because I know I'm gonna need more rock with these things. Rock is your filtration in salt water. Anyways, this was this price, 49 plus 39. So this is besides the point, but I'm just trying to be transparent as possible with you guys. And we got a five gallon bucket. Now your bucket is your life when it comes to fishes, you know, this is what you can use water changes to mix your salt. This is what you use to acclimate your fishes. This is what you use to clean your rocks. This is what we're gonna do. So first what we're gonna do, is we're gonna figure out how we're gonna wanna aquascape these rocks. But before we do that, we're gonna take these rocks out this bag, put it in that bucket, run it under the water until it runs clear. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So that way, when we put everything in the tank, the water doesn't get as cloudy and it'll be as beautiful as possible from the moment on. And also in the meantime, I gotta get these two guys out this guy and girl out and they got to go back in the main tank this tank's going to be gone this tank's going to be there and we are going to show you guys how to get into the saltwater gang so if you guys are ready let's get it all right you guys so this rock right here you don't really need to, you want to rinse everything off but this i'm just going to put it in the bucket with everything else but you do not need to rinse this rock out until it it comes clean. This rock isn't gonna be that dirty. This is just, you know, I just like this rock, the arches, you know, cause I plan on putting corals in this. So if you guys wanna get you this, you can get these type of rocks. They do sell them on Amazon, but you can go to your local fish store and they will have some of these for you. Your local, not Petco, don't go to no Petco asking for this. Go to like an actual mom and pop fish store. And I'm telling you, if you've never been, you won't even regret it. It's like going to the aquarium at a store. But anyways, we gonna put, so we got this rock. I already, I already aquascaped this one in the um, store. So we're gonna put this rock in there. And we're gonna take this rock. And we got a little smaller one. You know, these arches are just perfect. So we got nice little rocks here. We're gonna put that in the bucket. So I guess, so if you guys are following along, you're catching the drift. And this is 10 pounds of rocks. This thing is like, we're just gonna stack it up, create tunnels, create like different auto space. It's gonna be crazy. But we're gonna get all this stuff rinsed out, cleaned out for us. So we're gonna put these in here too as well. Cause these things are like chalk right here. These rocks, I ain't gonna lie. These rocks are kind of like chalk off the website, but 
they gonna get the job done. All this is not live rock, this is dry rock. And then when the bacteria gets to them in the tank, it will turn it into live rock. So that's what we mean when we say live rock, dry rock. If you want live rock, you're gonna have to go to the store. They're gonna have it in some water and it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna always be in water if you want live rock. But that, you run a risk of getting pests in your tank. When you get dry rock, everything comes pest free. So, we're gonna drop these in here and I'll see you guys in the next scene when we go and rinse this all out. So I can show you what I need. Get close up of these hands. See how white and all this is on my hands? If you don't rinse your rocks off, this is what's gonna be in your tank. This is what's gonna be in your filter. And the filter is not gonna be, you know, it's just gonna start off dirty and start off with problems. So, here bro, watch out. Okay. So, so what we mean by, what I mean by this is you don't have to make the water hot or cold. You just gotta turn the water on and literally fill your bucket up and just let it run. If you have a house, it's easy to do it with a boat outside. Just fill the bucket up and let the water just run through the tank. Run through the bucket till it runs full. So we're gonna let that happen and we're gonna get this 20 gallon out for it. All right guys, so the rocks is all done. They're just drying out. So now what I'm gonna do is I got this tank used from somebody. So you can still see there's like some algae on the glass and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this with just some water and some paper towels and get all the algae out. And then um, then we're gonna put our rockscape down on the ground here and then rockscape it out here. And then it, once we come up with something we like, we're just gonna pick it up, put it in here and then dump the sand. Now I wanted to note it that you only really need to rinse out your substrate like that in the bucket. I just do it because I'm OD like that with the, with the rocks. But you don't have, you could just take your rocks individually, rinse them out under the water and just make it cool. Just like you would do your filters. But since this is live sand, you don't want to run just regular water under it or else you will kill all the bacteria and you have a really high ammonia spike in your tank and it'll just start you off on the bad foot. So if you got live sand, don't do it. But if it's just fake sand that's not live, Yes, rinse it out until it runs clear. Cause with live sand like this, my tank's gonna be cloudy anyways. All right, so let me clean this tank out. All right guys, so this is the rock scape I decided with lots of caves, lots of tunnels. The rocks are gonna get the base for this. So like when I fill it up with sand, it's not as wobbly. That's a cool cave. I might try to like keep the sand from filling in in there. And then, uh, but yeah, I really like it. Here's the top view. I think the fishes will really like this. Let's get it inside on the back view. So yeah, so we rinse the rocks out. We put the rocks in, escape it however you want. Whenever you get your tank, you can escape your rocks however you want. Now, it's time for the last part, well, second to last part. We gotta put in some sand. So I'm gonna get this bag cut open and I'm gonna start dumping this sand in and I'll let you guys see how it looks with the sand. Be right back. All right guys, so now it's time for some carob sea salt. I know you guys probably didn't see this rock scape, so I'm just gonna pour some salt in, show you what you, literally all you do is this when you pour your salt in. Your sand, I mean, not salt. Thanks, Kayla. And then that water's starting to get into it. And then I'm gonna get some in the back here. I probably needed two bags. I only got one, so I might have to go and get more. just go in there with my hand and then smooth it all out and put the sand, direct the sand more to where I want it at, get it equally spread out. I would say, not too bad. I don't know how much pounds it was. I think it was like 20, 30. I, wanted, I don't want to cover my rocks because I want them to breathe and be able to, you know, 
be that filter, that biological filter. It won't be no good when they're buried. But this sand will definitely do that job too. So. And remember in these bags, they got a little aqua clear thing in there. So you're gonna have to find that if it's in your tank. We need all of my sand. I need all of my sand. Nah. Okay, and then literally just move it. So I don't think you guys need to see me do that. I'll show you a quick sample and then I'll, and I'll show you what it looks like. All I'm gonna do is literally take my hand and do this to the sand. Fill it in under there. You know, fill it in all right here. You know, just don't show the bottom of the tank. But also by showing our live rock. So we're gonna fill it all in down here. Kind of butt it up against there. So one bag was perfect. I'm keeping me my a box down here that way the mess isn't all over the floor. And then we're gonna fill this up just a little bit. I really want the sand to be like supportive of this. But I'm not gonna have two big fishes in here swimming around, so I sh it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think this tank is coming out very, very nicely. So now we gotta take our filter pad right here. This, you could buy these at your local pet store, you could buy them online. But I do want to give fair warning, the filter that's on the tank is not the filter we bought for the tank. That's still coming, but so, so we can cycle it, we got this 20 gallon filter. We got a 30 gallon filter with a skimmer built into it and that will also be linked in the description below. But you just gotta rinse this out until it runs clear. You see how it's running black underneath the bottom. You just want to turn that water on, give it a good rinse, and you should be good to go. But I will show a video, I guess, of the new filter, installing a new filter so you guys can see for those who want to do an exact replication of this tank. And then, um, see now it's all running clear on the bottom. You gotta make sure you see where the front says front, and then you're good to go. This is just a normal filter with carbon in it. You can buy other things once you're ready to upgrade, but this would do just fine. All right guys, so now this is the tank result. This is basically the final result of everything. This is what we're looking like. So I think I might get in the future, maybe a couple more of these arches and then you know, arch it a little bit here, arch a little there. But this is not good for a first saltwater tank. This is this is not bad. I mean, this is really good. So now I have a siphon. This was already like $50, $60 to siphon. You don't need to do that. You could just get a pitcher and fill it in with some water. And you can get a $20 siphon when you do water changes. But, you know, this one hooks up to the faucet. You turn the water on and it starts filling up. Turn the water off. It starts it, you turn it and it starts sucking the water out. You don't have to do all the siphoning pumping. But anyways, guys. So now it's time to fill the water up and then you're done. You got your filter in, your water in, and then once you're done, we're gonna take some of this, you can buy at your local fish store, some water conditioner. It takes all the heavy metals and all the bad stuff, ammonia and all that, detoxifies ammonia nitrate and nitrite out of your sink water. It makes it livable and healthy for the fish. Then we're gonna add some Fritz bacteria, just so we can add some some of the bacteria. And I might take some media balls from my old tape and throw it in here to help it just get more bacteria and establish that biological filter. But with that being said, let's turn the water on and let's let this bad boy fill up. I gotta go. And as you guys can see, the water is gonna be cloudy. It's gonna be like that for most of your tanks if you get live bacteria. It's still kind of see-through, but it's gonna be cloudy. It looks like the beach you know what I'm talking about in California, I'm gonna get off. But we're gonna let this thing fill up and then we're gonna, while it's filling up, we're gonna add this and then we're going to put our light on top and then we're, I'm gonna just throw some salt in there. I'll get the right amount of salt in, throw my salt in and you have yourself a salt water tank, guys. That wasn't too hard. That was very simple, very easy. Could be time consuming when you're setting it up, but for the most part, this is very, very easy to do 
And I promise you, you will not be disappointed when you get your first saltwater fish. Like when you get your tank, you'll be so excited, so happy, and you will love everything that came with the tank. You will love it, trust me. So we're gonna let this thing fill up. It's filling up pretty quickly. You can already see what it looks like. The thing looks so cool. This tank is fire. Drop some likes and comments in the comment section below. Let me know, cause this thing is fire, Chad. We did our thing. Yo, we did our thing, y'all. That's the game family, we did that. But yeah, so I'm gonna let it fill up. I'm gonna show you guys it once it's all the way filled and then uh, that's it. All right guys, so now we're gonna add, so as this fills up, you can add your water, um, your prime. All you need is just a very teeny bit. That's even too much with prime, just that much. And then you just dump it in there and boom, all that bad stuff in your water is dead I already threw the aqua clear magnifier in there and you can already see how clear that thing looking <laughs> it ain't gonna work that quick and then i'm gonna add some fritz sign bacteria these again you probably will want to get the bacteria if you want to start your biological because i already have stuff to start mine but when i did it all it did it i just added like a drop of ammonia and that thing did take like probably a month or so for it to get its biological filters right. That's why you always gotta set up a wet, dry station underneath your tank. And then one more for good luck, you know what I'm saying? Stuck that back to you off right. Bam. Now this thing is supposed to like, if you really was ridden and whisk it all, this thing you're supposed to be able to add fish immediately after this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You'd be able to throw them bad boys in there. But we're not doing that. We're going to get the tank like a week or two or so. Kind of work its way out. I'm going to be testing it, checking it out. And then uh, now that the tank's at a certain height, it's time to add the pedazzle, the razzle dazzle. So we're going to cap our filter off, our temporary filter. This is temporary, guys. Remember, the new one's coming. It'll be here Thursday. And then... We got this nice, nice cheap light that actually is pretty bright. We tested it out before anything. And it will fit a 30 gallon. I was nervous it did, it almost didn't fit. And just to show you guys the light with it, we just gonna do this. So this has two, couple modes. You can go all blue. Oh wait, you have to click the middle. Oh, that thing is fire. Look at this, y'all. Tell me that ain't fire. You see your fishes swimming in there? Fire. But yeah, you got all blue. You got all white. That is even clean. That is clean if you had just fish only, no corals. And then you got... Uh, there's a white, this one, this is the white and blue mode. So if I wanted to add more blue, I could turn the blue up and then I could turn the white down, give it that balance. I think this is how I like the tank for right now. See how the corals respond to that. And then if it, if it does, you know, adjust it. But yeah, guys, this is the tank. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys found this informational and hopefully you guys found this to be a lot of help it's not that hard to get into some uh, salt water. It's a very, very rewarding hobby when you can get it all right. And when you follow people like me who have a little bit of experience and can show you the way, it's even more easy. The camera doesn't do it justice. Like the rocks look so small, but trust me, the rocks is almost halfway in the tank. Almost halfway, so. Whatever. But if you guys like that, make sure you like, share, make sure you share with your friends. Share with somebody you know who's into fishes. Share to somebody who you know might want to start salt water, or even if you are. And if you if you watch this because you have a salt water and it's your first one, congratulations, man. It's a very, very rewarding hobby. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Got your game. We the best team out. Peace. She played both sides of the field.
bad and she real But she only play for the real Swear she only give me that good shit Put that on some hood shit I'ma have to go and give a good dick I ain't even playing with your name I don't even play with the pain Shawty, I ain't playing no games